everyone welcome to the book and notes this video is part 4 of chemistry class 11 chapter 1 some basic concepts of chemistry and this will be the last part i have previously uploaded part 1 part 2 and part 3 of this chapter you can see in the description box and in this video we will cover the concentration of the solution and then we will start the next chapter you are advised to watch the video till last and also do not forget to like and subscribe our channel which motivates us now let us start the concentration of solution or the concentration terms the mass percent mass percent formula is mass of solute by mass of solution into 100 and one of the question related to it is a solution is prepared by adding 2 gram of a substance a to 18 gram of water calculate the mass percent of the solute and we know the formula that mass of solute by mass of solution into 100 is equals to mass percent so we will apply mass percent of a is equal to 2 gram by 2 gram of a plus 18 gram of water into 100 is equals to 2 by 20 into 100 is equal to 10 percent now mole fraction mole fraction is the ratio of the number of moles of a particular component to the total number of moles of the solution if a substance A dissolves in substance B and their number of moles are Na and Nb, then the mole fraction of A and B are given as mole fraction of A is equals to number of moles of A divided by number of moles of solution is equals to Na by Na plus Nb and moles fraction of B is equals to number of moles of B divided by number of moles of solution is equals to Nb by Na plus Nb now molarity and it is denoted by capital M it is defined as the number of moles of solute in one liter of the solution molarity is equals to number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter now let us come to the question find the molarity of number one 40 gram NaOH dissolved into 50 milliliter of the solution here number of moles is equal to 40 by 40 is equals to 1 mole and volume in liter is equals to 250 ml divided by 1000 is equal to 1 by 4 therefore molarity is equal to n by v in liter is equals to 1 by 1 by 4 is equals to 4 m or 4 mole liter inverse now next question 4.9 gram h2so4 present in 500 centimeter cube solution here number of moles of h2so4 is 4.9 divided by 98 and volume is equals to 500 divided by 1000 liter therefore molarity is equal to n by v is equals to 1 by 20 divided by 1 by 2 is equals to 0.1 mole liter inverse now next question find the mass of Na2CO3 present in 100 milliliter of 3m solution here molarity is equals to n by v this implies 3m is equals to x by 106 divided by 100 divided by 1000 this implies 3m is equals to x by 106 divided by 1 by 10 this implies 3 capital M is equals to x into 10 divided by 106 this implies x is equals to 3 into 106 divided by 10 is equals to 31.8 gram now next question find the molarity of 10% weight by weight aqueous solution of H2SO4 if density of the solution is 11 gram per milliliter here solution is 10% weight by weight aqueous solution of H2SO4 is equals to 10 gram H2SO4 present in 100 gram solution. Here number of moles of H2SO4 is equals to 10 divided by 98 gram is equals to 5 by 49 and mass of solution is equals to 100 gram. Now density of solution is equals to 11 gram per milliliter. This implies 100 gram per volume is equals to 11 gram per milliliter. This implies volume is equals to 100 by 11 milliliter. According to question M is equals to NYB is equals to 5 by 49 divided by 100 divided by 11 into 1000 is equals to 5 by 49 divided by 1 by 110 is equals to 550 by 49 molarity now next question if 120 gram urea and h2co and h2 is dissolved in 1000 gram water find the molarity of the solution if density of solution is 1.12 gram per milliliter here molar mass of urea is equals to 60 gram and number of moles is equals to 2 mole here mass of solution is equals to 120 plus 100 gram is equal to 1120 gram 
and volume is equals to mass by density is equals to 1120 divided by 1.12 is equals to 1000 ml is equals to 1 liter therefore molarity is equals to n by v is equals to 2 by 1 liter is equals to 2 m now next question find the molarity of water we know density of water is equal to 1 gram per milliliter or 1 kg per liter let us consider 100 ml of water therefore mass of water is equal to 100 gram this implies molarity is equal to 100 gram divided by 18 gram divided by 100 by 1000 milliliter is equal to 1000 by 18 is equal to 55.555 molarity let us come to some of the important terms molar solution bimolar solution semimolar solution decimolar solution centimolar solution here molar solution means molarity is equals to 1 bimolar solution means molarity is equals to 2 semimolar solution means molarity is equals to 1 by 2 decimolar solution means molarity is equals to 1 by 10 and centimolar solution means molarity is equals to 1 by 100 now let us come to some of the question find the mass of koh present in 150 centimeter cube of semimolar aqueous solution since here semimolar solution is given so molarity is equals to 1 by 2 this implies 1 by 2 is equals to n by 150 by 1000 this implies 150 by 2000 is equals to n this implies n is equals to 15 by 200 this implies mass given by 36 gram is equals to 15 by 200 this implies mass is equals to 27 by 10 is equals to 2.7 gram Clarity of ions. The first question is if 53 gram of Na2CO3 is dissolved in 500 milliliter solution, find the molarity of Na2CO3, Na plus ion, and CO3 2 minus ion. And the solution is the molarity of Na2CO3 is equal to number of moles of Na2CO3 divided by volume of solution. Here, number of moles of Na2CO3 is equal to 53 gram divided by 106 gram and the volume of the solution is equal to 500 by 1000 liter. Therefore, molarity of Na2CO3 is equal to 1 m. Now, Na2CO3 breaks into 2 Na plus ion and CO3 2 minus. Now, the molarity of Na plus is equal to 2 mole divided by 1 liter is equal to 2 m and the molarity of CO3 2 minus is equal to 1 mole divided by 1 liter is equal to 1 m. Now next question. Find the molarity of H plus ion if 49 gram H2SO4 is dissociated in 250 milliliter solution. Here H2SO4 breaks down into 2H plus plus SO4 2 minus and molarity of H2SO4 is equal to number of moles of H2SO4 divided by volume of solution is equal to 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 4 is equals to 2 m therefore molarity of h plus is equals to 2 into 2 m is equals to 4 m let us come to the next topic molarity of dilution if a solution is diluted then a formula is used m1 v1 is equals to m2 v2 using this formula let us try to solve some question 0.2 m and 100 ml HNO3 solution is diluted with 100 ml water find new molarity we know the formula m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 this implies 0.2 m into 100 ml is equal to m2 into 200 ml this implies m2 is equal to 0.1 m now molarity of mixture if two solution are mixed together then n1 plus n2 is equals to n this implies m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equals to m into v1 plus v2 this implies m is equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by v1 plus v2 and let us solve some of the question following this formula question number one if 0.2 m and 100 ml SCL solution is mixed with 0.1 m 300 ml SCL solution find the molarity of mixture we know the formula m equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by v1 plus v2 is equals to 0.2 into 100 ml plus 0.1 into 300 ml divided by 100 ml plus 300 ml is equals to 20 plus 30 divided by 400 m is equals to 1 by 8 m or 0.125 m now let us come to the last topic molality it is defined as the number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent molality or small m is equals to 
number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg now let us come to the questions find the molality of 20 gram naoh dissolved in 100 gram solution we know molality is equals to number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg here number of moles of solute is equals to 20 by 40 is equals to 1 by 2 and mass of solvent in kg is equals to 80 by 1000 is equal to 8 by 100 therefore molality is equals to 1 by 2 divided by 8 by 100 is equals to 100 by 6 is equals to 6.25 m and the next question is if 0.85 gram of NH3 is dissolved in 100 ml of solution, find the molality if density of solution is 1.2 gram per milliliter. Given density is equals to 1.2 gram per milliliter, this implies mass of solvent is equals to 1.2 gram per milliliter into 100 milliliter is equals to 120 gram. Now mass of solvent is equals to 120 gram minus 0.85 gram is equals to 119.15 gram. Therefore, molality is equals to number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution is equals to 1 by 2383 molality and thank you for watching the video and do not forget to hit like and subscribe our channel for more such updates